what is up guys this is ielts wala your all time ielts partner right today i am back with an important video about the i can say the recent breaking news for ielts exam for ielts test and for ielts test takers uh, ielts has officially given the new rules some new patterns for the ielts exam and that now there is a complete new changes so must note i can say must watch this till the end there are some new changes which i'm going to discuss in this video and it as and it will be affected worldwide at every place at every corner in ielts exam so what are those changes let's discuss but before that consider subscribing this channel ielts wala and press the bell icon i teach ielts online through my live classes sessions and my youtube videos for free so to enjoy your complete ielts course and to enjoy your complete i can say uh, live classes and my youtube videos for free and get your desired band score subscribe now it is free to subscribe i also share the latest updates for ielts visas and immigration and the complete stuff so press the bell icon as well so that whenever i will share a new update or i will share a new video you will get the notification on the same time on your screen so what are you waiting for subscribe and press the bell icon and let's get started well guys there are total 5 to 6 changes which are given by ielts and as you guys know that nowadays there is a pandemic and it is i can say emerging at every corner of the world so for that for i can say for your health security and for other uh, i can say precautions here are some new changes and the first one is uh before your ielts exam or you need to sign a health declaration in which you have to confirm that you you do not have any kind of symptoms of this pandemic or you you uh, that you have to show that your health is normal you are normal you, you do not have any kind of uh, symptoms of this pandemic or your health is not abnormal you are completely normal and healthy person so you need to sign a health declaration that is easy to sign only so that is quite easy so just you need to sign a health declaration because that is as per the, i can say um what what we can say them as the guidelines from the who that is world health organization so that is the first update that you need to sign a health declaration to talk about the next uh, test takers and vigilators or staff can wear a mask uh, might be because you know guys nowadays everybody when we go outside the home we think that uh, because we uh, i can say internally we internally we think that we must have our own security own precaution own health precaution as well so might be any of the you have doubt that uh, should i wear mask or not because there is too much security in ielts exam that they are not going to allow even a coin with you so mask is a uh, far away but now they are allowing you that you can wear a mask even invigilators and staff can wear a mask so now that is a uh, relief from ielts as per the who guidelines so if anybody is i can and they was thinking that I, i should wear a mask in ielts test so now you can wear a mask talk about the next update that is additional spaces for test takers guys as you know might be um, i don't think the photographs of ielts exam will be available on google but you can check any exam photos or any competitive exam photos the ielts exam is like same uh, there is a, a table and a chair and the distance is approximately around Uh, three to four feet i think maximum three feet i think so now there is an additional spaces now there will be more space as i can say front and back left and right so on all the four corners there will be more spaces as per the normal because at, during this normal last exam the space is less but now they will there will be more spaces because they will follow the social distancing and so on the guidelines so there will be additional spaces for spaces for test takers so that is also good um there will be also reduced group sizes because you know guys usually exam exams is in big hall to talk about pen and paper based ielts exam so that is big halls and there were all more than 500 candidates i think during my exam there were almost 500 or more than that so now there is a, a reduced group sizes might be it will be in a small hall or any banquet hall or there will be small group sizes that a uh, few few number of ielts candidates will be in a single hall or single area so that is also good uh next is that hand sanitizers will be readily available that is also important at every corner uh, when you will enter your test center because if it is in if it is in hotel or in restaurant or any palace or whatsoever or any hall so when you will enter over there at your security check up there at that place it will be also available and where you will deposit your materials like your phone your backpack and whatsoever you have because you cannot carry anything with you except your pen pencil not pen even pencil and eraser and sharpener uh, rest uh, all these three things are mandatory and passport especially because passport is very important for your exam 
so they will also give you a, a token number when you will deposit your exam but that token number is only for you because if you will deposit uh, your i can say your any kind of material or then they will give token number that by showing that you can take your material back or uh, that is other thing that i can say regarding the exam day so but uh, at that place it will be also available and in washrooms as well be before the exam they will also allow you to go to washrooms but in between they are, they do not allow they allow after the completion of our module exam like after listening or after reading or after writing them the exam is over so before that they will also allow you so you can use them and it will also available in washrooms i can see at every corner where you have to stop or for in security check up or whatsoever the next is about test room deep cleaning or disinfection you can see a sanitization that test room will also be sanitized there will be deep cleaning so any sprays or any things i can say which is used in uh, now no, nowadays uh, uh, done everywhere at any colleges universities and any public places and all that stuff so that is also important and that is a great step that test room is will be disinfected there will no any kind of infection and that will properly cleaned and sanitized and uh, to talk about cd aisles computer delivered aisles there will be partition in a computer del delivered aisles test rooms uh, usually you can see the photos are available uh, even aisles officially given some three photographs which is a common photograph of cd aisles that students are sitting and there is a uh, one more uh, i can say a bench is side by side so now there will be partition in those test rooms so there will be less number of people in a small size area so that is again the new update so that was all about these six new changes i hope you found them helpful and if you need any kind of assistance then just comment down and i will try my best to help you guys out so consider subscribing and press the bell icon to get the latest updates regarding ielts visa and immigration and to enjoy the complete ielts course give a thumbs up thank you for watching have a great day